Hello there, welcome to my first playthrough of Seven Days to Die. I hope you enjoy. This is going to be full of tutorials, hints, tips, whatever you need to know. Just leave a comment in the section box. So you can see I've started in the snow biome. And the first thing we've got to do is get these challenges completed. You see the top right corner? So, I've got to craft the bedroll. Okay. Right, bedroll. It's under basics there. We'll craft that first. You can never have enough plant fibers. Because when I've crafted the bedroll, I think we're going to make some clothes next. There's not much of a tutorial that comes with this game when you first get it. So you really have to just bear with it and mess around. That means opening menus, scrolling over each icon and seeing what options it gives you in the top left corner of the screen. Now here's a handy tip for you. I'm going to put my bedroll down, but I'm going to pick it back up because I might not want to stay here. Especially not in the snow biome. It's one of the difficult biomes in the game. I'm going to scavenge everything from around the car. Let's see what's here. And yeah, what we're going to do now. Make a stone axe. So I'm going to collect some stone. I'll keep scavenging on the way as well. So I need some little stones and some wood. Little trees are good things to hit to get wood off. If you can't find no little trees, there's always little blocks of uh, wood on the floor you could hit. But they take a while when you hit them with your fists. Let's have a look. Oh, I can't. Where's my star? Stone oh, axe. Must have enough. Right, hit the trees a bit more. I should have enough for a stone axe. I'll just have a look. Keep hitting some wood and some trees. Well, it'll help if I hit something like. Uh, watch, you'll see what I mean. Oh, there it is. Stone axe. I knew it was there somewhere. Now, this is one of the first tools you should always make. Comes in very handy. Oh, stone axe is equipped. And what you need to do as soon as you've got this, chop down some wood and chop down some stone. Because you're going to need it to make more axes. So I'll have a look for some stone. Oh, some more grass there. Use your fist to get the grass. It's a lot easier. Right. Plant fibre clothing. Okay. That's some stone there, but I'll, I'll get this plant fibre clothing out of the way first. Right. Gloves. Okay, as you can see, I'm crafting it. What I'm doing is I'm highlighting the clothes I want to craft and pressing up on the D-pad. It saves going back along to the right and then selecting it. There's a few hot keys on it by using the D-pad. As you can see, I'm getting stone and iron from this rock. Keep a hold of everything you get a hold of. It comes in handy. And the main aim is to find a cooking pot. And if you can't find a cooking pot, we'll have to high roll the desert and get some yucca plants. And the main reason for that is, if you haven't got a cooking pot, you can't boil water that you find. And you could end up with a dysentery, in other words, diarrhea. However, if you can't find a cooking pot and you hightail it to the desert, you can get some yucca plants. They also feed you, but if you have four yucca plants, you can make a drink out of it. With your empty jar. So, you know, you've got a constant food supply and a drink supply if you need be. I'll see how we fare up for now, though. I'm not going to rush about. We'll take our time to get some scavenging done. Sorry, the trees take a while to cut down, but they'll not take as long to cut down when I've crafted better equipment later on. You can see I'm just getting some maple seeds off it. Oh, it was a blue spruce, I think. Search some more bags. Nothing in that one. All right, let's have a look around. Put my torch on. Right. I'm going to have a look in this house, I think. Yeah, we'll have a look on the house. It's quiet at the minute. There's no zombies around. When you first spawn in the game... Oh, there's a leather three-piece. I'll have to get that. Now here's a good tip for you guys, instead of hunting animals to get your leather straight away, your animal hide, just hit a three piece. If you can go into a house that's got a leather three piece, bash away at it, you'll get your leather off that. And the reason for that is you'll get uh, leather which you need for your bellows, which really is important. Um, as you'll see later on, you need your forge to make your iron tools, which means you can craft stuff a lot quicker. Uh, better ammunition, light iron arrowheads and what have you better like iron axes iron pickaxes all the better tools you'll need for the game 
So it's really just scavenging, see what we can do at first. Now there's no cooking pot in there. Oh, look at that. There's a trader. Right, so I'll know that one's there. Okay, let's hightail. Looks like I'm going to hightail to the desert because there, there's not many houses around here. There's a few, but it's potluck really. There's a few nasty zombies in this area. Quite big. Best thing to look for in this biome is the tree stumps. If you find a tree stump, there's a feather. I could do with some of them. Oh, egg? Okay. Anyway, the best thing to look for is tree stumps. If you find a tree stump, you always get really good loot in them. Especially on this biome here. Oh, where's the sign? What's it say? Albuquerque, Santa Fe. Ah. Oh, some blueberries. I will take them. I will not use them straight away because I, I might be able to make some blueberry seeds and start making some more food with it. Farming's an important part of this game. But I'm going to hightail it to the desert. We're on the Navs game map and we've started in the snow biome, which is the northeast area. So if I hightail it to the west, I should get to the desert biome pretty soon. I mean, there might be a few enemies on the way. Ah, oh, there's a nice water source there. I'll have to remember that's here. I've highlight when you go past it on the map, you highlight it. So, oh, what's this? Is this the army camp? Oh, I'll be careful. Mine's on the floor. Let's have a look. Oh, bloody hell! Jesus, I'm not going to go near that yet. Yeah, zombies, enjoy your trip, because I'm not going near you yet. Tree stump. Let's have a look. Oh, not bad. A beaker. Really helpful them. Make your grain alcohol in the campfire with that. Alright, let's have a look. What's we got here? Oh, there's a zombie there, you see him. Pretty big. Let's see if I can get past him and let him detect us. Oh, he's detected us. Oh, I got some nice loot though. I'm gonna hightail it out the way of him. The last thing I was in an encounter with him. Big nasty dudes. Really strong as well. Okay, oh, stamina goes down quick. Crouch down, it goes up a little bit faster. Now the best way to get XP in this game is by doing the challenges you set, which is the ones on the top right, or by killing zombies. And then general crafting, whatever you do. But it's a, it's a, it can be a, a painstaking game until you get the hang of it. It's a grind, that's the best way to describe it, it's a grind. Oh, not bad. Let's have a look. Right then. Get me stamina back up again. Must find a cooking pot. Make another stone axe here. I'll make a few. Right, put that down there. Ah, got me, oh, nice little shotgun. Passing gas, I'll, oh, yeah, I would come back there. I'm going to have to come back. I've got too many big zombies kicking around. They're not something you want to mess with, them big dudes. Not until you're ready, at least. I need some arrows, if I can get some arrows. There'll be a start there, there's some arrows there, right. Oh, he heard us. I'm away. See ya! Come on, keep going west, keep going west. Ah, there's a house down there as well. Snowberries I've just picked up. Let's have a look. Stamina goes down really quick. But on the plus side, the more running you do, more more feathers, thank you. The more running you do, the more your athletics go up. So you can run faster, run further without your stamina going down so much. Well, if you're enjoying what you're watching so far, stay tuned for part two.